threats from terrorist groups like ISIS are again surging across the world now three years after the U.S. withdrew from Afghanistan. The National Desk's Jeff Harris joining us right now. And Jeff, you spoke with experts tonight. And when it comes to potential attacks on American soil, what are they telling you? Well, Amir, I am told that there's really no urgency for foreign invasion to combat terrorism, but the threat is growing and there is some worry that the U.S. is being more reactive than proactive. So far this year, ISIS has claimed responsibility for several deadly attacks in Turkey, Iran and Russia. Actors affiliated with ISIS also carried out a stabbing attack in Germany and threatened a Taylor Swift concert in Austria. This renewed ISIS threat, along with the emergence of other terrorist groups across the Middle East, is highlighting how the U.S. and its allies are struggling to fight them. The threat continuum evolves on a daily basis, and our intelligence community is, is certainly doing the best they can with the resources available to them. Now it's so crowded, the terrorism landscape, and how now different groups are vying for that power and to be the next group that's going to target the next biggest country, which puts the U.S. front and center. Right now, there are roughly 900 U.S. troops in Syria and around 2,500 in Iraq. Last month, the U.S. Central Command released a statement saying that ISIS was responsible for 153 attacks in Iraq and Syria in the first half of 2024 and is on pace to more than double the total number of attacks they claimed in 2023.